game of life is one of those things that makes math fun. It makes math come alive. It was created in the 1970s by a mathematician called John Conway. And essentially, we've got a grid. We have cells in the grid. And every generation, every turn, we look to see what the relationships are between these cells. And the cells will either die or they will survive into the next round or a new cell will be born. We can see that we created a stable system there from those start points and it will just continue to iterate over those stars. Now you can learn a lot about the game of life online on the math.com site or on Wikipedia. What we're more interested in is being able to play the game of life. So you can download this application called Golly that will let you play offline and it has a lot of new rules and new patterns for working with this, a whole bunch of different guns for this. And it's really interesting to watch and observe this and zoom in and see what's going on under the covers. And when we zoom out, we see more of the pattern. But we can also play this online in games written in JavaScript. So here's one, this has got a glider ready for us. If I start this, we'll see it, let's speed this up. There we go, the glider's off. And we can interact with this. So I can draw a little pattern. Some of these cells are just going to die. Some of them will oscillate round into a different pattern, I suspect. That looks like a glider. Some of these will go round. Let's start this off. And then I can interact with it because I can put cells down and it will work over the generation and see what happens. Some of the things I put down will just die. They won't work. Let's kill the glider. Get the glider. So that's quite a fun game of life at bitstorm.org. Here's another one. You can zoom into the URL and see what this is. But again, I'll create a pattern. I'll take trail off. Then I'll just run this and we can see it zoom off. And all of these have controls so we can interact with them on the GUI and experiment with the game of life. Then we have this one that we're going to hack because there are no controls. When I click here, nothing happens. So we're going to have to learn how to hack this game through JavaScript to set up the patterns we want to control it in different ways. And we could do all that from within the browser. So go and learn a little bit about Game of Life, come back and we're gonna learn how to hack this version, or you can just go away and play with some of these other ones. Your choice. <laughs>